What's good people, I woke up today and thought I want to have something different for breakfast so I'm going to make protein pancakes so I thought why not show you guys as well so stay tuned for the video of how to make excellent protein pancakes chef and with a pot Alright, so here are the ingredients I'm going to be using. I got myself just some standard everyday um, value oats from Tesco. Very cheap for a whole kilo. Then you get yourself an average sized banana, two medium sized eggs, and these are additional things you don't really need to add, but I've got myself some smooth peanut butter. If you decide to put peanut butter in your mix, be sure to go for the all natural one, so the main ingredient is just peanut butter. No added salt or anything like that. It's 100% nuts. Then I got myself some near zero pancake syrup for the ending to top it all off. The protein of choice today is going to be the My Protein Vanilla Whey Protein. You can use any flavour you like, but vanilla for me is like a safe option because it goes with absolutely anything. But trust me, there are many other great flavours. I've had chocolate brownie pancakes before and they taste really good too. And one thing that's going to be a very good help is this small pancake uh, pan that I found at Lidl. Okay, what I'm going to be spraying the pan with is this uh, extra virgin Spanish olive oil. And there's literally just two calories per spray, so just do like about three, just to make sure. One, two, to be honest, I think two is enough. Uh, to mix all this together, what I'm going to need is a blender active. Obviously, if you don't have a blender, you can just use a bowl and just mix it like you normally would. But for me, I'm just going to literally crack all the ingredients into here. Okay, I've got a scale here as well, purely to weigh out this stuff. First thing I'm going to add is 50 grams of oats. There you go, we've got 50 grams of oats now added into the mix. Alright people, so now I'm just going to add in the eggs. One egg. By the way, if you want to have extra protein, then you obviously can use egg whites, which is what I would normally use. Okay, that's two medium eggs. All we're going to do now is more peel the banana and add it in. I'm going to literally, just for this video's sake, weigh it. And that works out to about 93 grams. Alright, so just open whey protein, obviously it's a new pack. How much do you want to bet the scoop is not at the top of the pack? You know, I can feel the scoop. See, there, there's the top of the pack. The scoop, I can feel, is around there, which is like three quarters through the bag. Okay, if you're anything like me, you've probably got like a thousand scoops in your house anyway, so I'll just use one of my spare scoops. And all you have to do is get like a nice um, scoop of whey protein. You can use a bodybuilder scoop, but I'm going to go with a less generous amount. I'm going to use like a standard scoop. Yeah, maybe a tad more, just because you know about the gains. And usually I normally add in liquid egg whites, so yeah, it makes it mix easier. But today I haven't done that, so what I'm going to do is also add in around 50 milliliters of, of almond milk. And then if that's not enough, then I'll add a little bit more. But 50 milliliters should be enough. We should be good to go. This is all the ingredients I'm going to put into the actual pancakes. The syrup and stuff I'll put at the end. By the way, for those of you that don't know what this blender is, literally it's a blend active, they're like £19, really cheap. And basically this is like the normal bar it comes with. And when you want to blend it, all you do is get like this different top. You put it on the top, obviously you put it straight to the blender. Quick tip by the way is when you're doing it, be sure to oscillate it. If you don't know what that means, basically start and stop. Because obviously when you keep your finger on it, all the big chunks like banana and stuff end up at the top and they don't get mixed in. So... Stop. and then you hear like the chunks here you start chopping through so that's the top tip that's a gem by TJ mega tip okay and you only like a little bit of a tricep and a bicep exercise in here so when you finish it be sure to shake it a bit and make sure all the mix is actually fully mixed through yeah I'm not gonna do that way cut cam okay I almost forgot to add the goodness that is peanut butter so I'm gonna add this in now I'm only gonna add in like a spoonful I'm not even gonna weigh it uh, peanut butter just gives you that nice consistency and it's peanut butter like if you do if you're about that gym life you should eat peanut butter if you don't then there's something wrong with you okay now is the main event we're gonna pour the first pancake okay good tip to do as well I used to have the issue that my pancakes sometimes the outside would get golden and look like it's cooked but the inside would just be like basically just dough still so basically I've seen a few people in their videos say just put a stove blade on top of the pan and that helps it steam through which, which makes sense because I do that with my stir fries and actually when I cook meat so that's a good tip so hopefully that pancake comes out brilliant I will say if you use a pot lid definitely check it more frequent because it does cook a lot quicker alright it's been about less than a minute and as you can see thicken up in the moment of truth Oh yeah, chefing with a pan. Yeah, that's decent. Put the lid back on for a little bit, make sure it cooks through. Right, now we're going to make another one. Oh, 
Okay, so as you can see, you just finished your pancakes and they are quite a good pack. So as you can see, they're really, really good and they are quite thick and spongy. Like for example, there you go. We add the final one. Boom. And as you can see, they're really spongy pancakes. <laughs> Alright, so we've made the pancakes now, and as you can see, they came out very well, like, I'm not even gonna lie, because this is probably the best batch I've ever made, and the one tip I will say, if you want to have them nice and thick, either add baking powder, or in this instance, add banana, the banana definitely thicken it up, I I've ate about two of them, so this is just like the final stack, so, hopefully, you like this video, if you did enjoy this video, please leave it a thumbs up, comment below if you've tried this recipe, and be sure to share it with a friend, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, because what the fuck are you doing, if you won't be disappointed, it's really good, so I'm about to devour these, and I'm also going to add some near zero syrup. The macros for this will be on screen for you, but the whole stack, so I'm about to devour this now. Peace out, stay getting gains, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Pancake Day.